Welcome guys to another video um, in which I will be talking about the interview that I had yesterday with Riot Lutzberg. Um, I, of course, I recorded the whole interview, but I'm not allowed to post any audio or video file on YouTube. Um, simply because I'm not a official um, League of Legends YouTube channel and not a League partner. So I'm not allowed to do that. So what I did then was to listen to that video file and to listen to what um, Riot Lutzberg said. And I just wrote it down in this file here, guys. So it took me two, I can say two, two and a half hours to do that, guys. Okay. But every time pause and go back on that file type it in here and go back play the the file again and listen to what he said and then go back here it took me two and a half hours guys so what i want from you okay what i want from you is to smash that like button guys and to subscribe to that channel i'm gonna tell you why it's so important to subscribe to that channel because the bigger we get guys the bigger we get the more influence we will have so it's already incredible to um, have the opportunity to talk to a writer being that small like I am, being that little that I am. I'm, I'm having like 6K subscribers and, and I have the opportunity to talk to a writer. Now imagine we are a little bit bigger. I think our influence with, with that would grow as well. So the more subscribers we have, guys, the more um, we will have, the, the more influence we will have on these kind of changes and maybe um we can influence the way wukong will get changed maybe in future guys so hit of course 100 percent, guys 100 percent. hit the, hit the thumbs up button on that one guys because i i put i put it a lot of time into that and also hit the subscribe button guys if you haven't as i said it helps um it helps yourself okay so uh how i want to do that is i just gonna um show you the questions guys so there are very interesting questions from you so just like um why is the ability to clone overworlds removed someone asked uh does his q still have healing in it and all these kind of questions is china involved into that where is it there it is is riot not allowed to change wukong's kit because of china so all these questions you asked uh, on the discord server and also below the last video I will be um, just reading that for you guys and I will be um, read the answer. However, if you want to read that file by your own guys, I'm going to provide you that file. I think in the description box, if this works, I will provide it over there so you can just go uh, through that by your own. So let me just start with the first, very first question is why Riot took way too long to rework? So someone of you just asked this question and he said, Riot Lutzberg said, Medler is the design director of a huge company and he basically made the first change just a year ago and it was a sort of a, of a side project, a passion project of his. So they never really, um, they never really um, started that project with with the knowledge that that Wukong has to be changed, it was more like a side project, guys. So Wukong <laughs> rework was from the beginning a side project. Okay, so as the uh, busiest guy on the league team, there was no way that he had the time to see those changes going through the finish line. Of course, Medlar has a lot of work to do, and this is why he he couldn't make it. And when we came back from break last year, this was. This is before I was at the company because they just done it sort of a passion project. He wasn't formally integrated into our project production pipeline. And so what we start, so what started out as a good intention, hey, I want to go above and beyond to improve this character that needs some love it, to turn it into a production issue on where we didn't have the bandwidth to support it. But we shoved, we showed it to players way sooner than we should have. So they started that project, and we can remember when they showed us the results. And he say, and he says, Brad Lutzberg says over here, um, we showed it to players way sooner than we should have. So definitely a mistake by them. And so that's the mistake that we feel like we made. We setting up expectations, getting you guys all excited, and then leaving you hanging for literally a year do you remember that that time guys i 100 percent remember that when they came up with these results and then 
we was like waiting what happened with wukong what happened with wukong tell us something about wukong so this what, what was what it was guys no what no one was was working on that because medla had some other works to do and it was from the beginning just just a side project that's that's the reason for that so he says then he said then like that that's an uh, acceptable we screwed up that's not acceptable we screwed up and so just like on behalf of the champions team and of right i want to apologize for that because we handled that poorly so he's looking to um, apologize here guys and I'm, I'm i'm saying okay happens so then he said so fast forward a year we look at this change list you know the world that we live in has changed the 30 items are different the map is different like all these things have changed and so when we looked at his update we had to ask ourselves what are the goals and these goals he was talking in that interview he just posted on posted on the dev corner so i'm not really gonna go through that again he said then we actually trying to achieve here and so i sat in a room with medler and two other design leaders mark and decap i'm not really sure if you write it this way and the four of us came to, to a conclusion of like now that we have to the opportunity to do this right. Do we want what do we want out of that? So he then explains all these goals. Okay, goal one, goal two. But he made a he made a post on Dev Corner where you can read that. And I also mentioned that in the previous video yesterday. So I'm not gonna mention these again. As I said, you can just go by yourself. The file will be hopefully in the description box. If you then want to read that so uh, basically you can say the reason why uh, it took so long why the rework took so long is no one was working on that before Riot Lutzberg joined the team that's basically the reason so Medla started it as a side project and had no time for it because he is uh, the design the leader director of this big ass company called Riot so of course he has no time so let's move to the second question. Someone of you asked, what champion styles does Riot want to push Wukong towards? Assassin, Driver, Bruiser, ADC, Tank, Roma, Lane, Bully, Jungler, Late Game, Carry, etc. Question mark. So then he says specifically, I want to call out the fact making him a Bruiser or is no longer one of our goals. So I can remember when Medlab made the post, it looked like that they wanted to push Wukong towards uh, a Bruiser, to be a Bruiser. So it's not something that we are trying to force on onto the player base. If you want to play him as an assassin with lethality, we want that to remain viable. We are nerfing it a little bit though, because we feel like it's a little out of line, but in return we are opening up an entire new build path through bruiser itemization. So if you choose and I think more importantly, we are shifting his power so that you can dominate a lane if you play it right and you are in the right matchup. So it will be still possible to build him as an assassin, but they nerfed it a little bit. So I think Bruiser will, however, will be st still his role when he comes out, because simply because of the passive. So then the third question, guys, someone of you just asked, will he be more like a top laner or a jungler? So he says, right, Lutzberg said, both should be viable. Some of the changes where we are making definitely buff his jungle. I would say his jungle is way stronger with these changes than it is on life. This is correct. Whether it makes him a dominate jungler or not, I'm not sure yet, but definitely stronger in the jungle than he was. Some of the changes we are making will make him stronger on the top lane too, because of the things we are doing with his shield. Okay. And the fact that it's triggering on brush, so you have more access to brush in top lane, so he will be a little bit stronger in that lane than mid lane. But really top and mid and jungle should be viable on him. So any role is viable on him besides uh, bot lane. So he says over here, wait a second, there, there's another question from you guys. Did you change anything about his kit since, since the last post on Dev Corner? mostly he says mostly uh, some numbers tweaking and i have a slightly new direction of his for his passive the difference are our stacks now with conqueror on every tick 
the movement speed is 30 40 50 percent flat on our base on spare rank we have removed the mana refund on q they should bring it back to be honest this is something that is really bad for us wukong players because his mana pool is simply too bad and his mana sustain is too bad so we need that uh, but we have dra dramatically reduced the mana cost on Q, so Q now costs 25 instead of 40, which is not enough in my opinion. Fifth question from you guys is, does his Q still have healing or it, is that gone and how does it scale? So he said it does not heal, but it has the armor shred in it, just like on live. I'm a little bit sad about that. 6. Does E still scale with AD or is that changed because it deals magic damage? So he says it scales with attack damage just because a spell is dealing magic damage. It's not mean that it has to scale with ability power. Lee since E deals magic damage. So it has the same AD ratio so it does on live servers guys. It just deals magic damage and what is and this basically means that Wukong deals more damage with his E in the early game and the only time it does less damage late game if he is building lethality. Otherwise, it's like damage up early and damage neutral late. So then we have the next question. Why is the ability clone over walls removed? One of the most important questions right there. So he said, I, Lutzberg, wanted to keep, to keep it. So Lutzberg wanted to keep it, guys. We all thought it was cool. And I fought for it. He fought for us, guys. So really good man. And I was met with some resistances. And when I looked at our balance team and the playtest team and designer who have been here for years now and shipped a thousand more champions, they said, Nathan, putting a wall jump mechanic on a character that's already that's already out and was not designed or built around the idea that he had it and now you are just gonna give it to him that has a huge cost so when they show, showed me what I have to give up in order to let that happen I made the call it wasn't worth it so that's the decision I stand by based on the team's experience who way out experience me so are you willing to give up armor shred on Q, the reduced mana, the twice as fast tick rate on R, the fact that W has the fast dash, like what are you willing to give up to let that happen so the trade off wasn't worth in my eyes. So what he's basically saying is to keep that wall jump mechanic into on, on his W means to give something away. But if someone asks me if someone asks me um, to give up on the armor shred on his Q, dude, I will, I will, I will say yes. I mean, to get that clone, to get that wall jump mechanic on, on his clone, and giving this up, dude, I, will, I would go for that. I would do that, to be honest. Yeah. So then someone asked, is Ryan not allowed to change Wukong's kit because of Shina? He said no. That's incorrect. Yes, Riot is owned by a Chinese company called Tencent. I'm not really sure how to write that. This is just wrote by me. He said Tencent. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, so I just wrote it like that. Um, Riot has total create of control over has total create of control over League of Legends in terms of what we make, when we ship it, what char character we decide to release, what we ch change. Tencent gives us the freedom, they trust us enough so we make decisions for ourselves. So there is no one in China saying Wukong has to be X, Y or Z or else. They have no say there at all. This is what he says guys, because a lot of people of you um, said that China is the reason why Wukong is not getting reworked. So this is his statement right there about China boys. So the next question, how strong will be the shield? This post is already made on the dev corner. 12% maximum health, guys. So if you are building Bruiser, you get Black Cleaver Sterex. So all the Bruiser items are giving you health and make your shield stronger. So if you are building 
says in your shield won't be that strong of course okay i'm not gonna read that because uh, this already exists on the dev corner so the next question give him a sort of cc pre-level six someone asked or someone said and he's and he so and he said about that i saw this one requested a lot i talked to the team about it earlier on we are still exploring they are still exploring maybe we can get it and we pretty much all agreed that he does not need it to succeed it would be nice to have it but we think that putting some some form of cc is not really needed he now has two dashes, one of which is targeted and he can go stealth and when he presses R he gains 50% movement speed and he's usually building a phage item as well which is giving him movement speed. So Wukong does not have any trouble sticking to a target in a fight and so we think any form of CC even a slow wouldn't actually help him that much but it would disproportionately help his allies catch up and help him to kill the target so what he's basically saying is that wukong is selfish um, the way he uh, was created is selfish in a selfish way so wukong usually kills his target by his own adding some sort of cc pre-6 would actually help his team to kill them to um and and this is not how wukong is meant to be and he has already a lot of movement speed in his kit so and and also two dashes so sticking to the enemy is not a problem and um to have slow in your kit is basically the reason for that is basically to stick to your targets but wukong has no problems to stick with his target to his targets so i'm agreeing with that i'm really agreeing with that i was one of these people who said um wukong needs a sort of cc pre-6 but reading that when he said that i was like okay I can uh, I can I can agree so then the next question will Wukong receive a new visual game model or new animations so he said no he will not this is purely a gameplay update there are a couple of new things we are adding specifically the new W dash and the shield so we are working on freeing up some resources to get a dash animation and a visual effect on his shield so this is what they're gonna add like because of the new abilities you can say he's getting new animation so then the last question i think that is the last question when riot decides any changes for wukong does the team compare their wukong to other wukongs from other games so he said i have not that's for a pretty good reason i feel like wukong's fantasy like who he is is very universally universally understood and well known and taking inspiration from another game or another work of fiction is it just didn't make sense to me i feel like i understand what league of legends versions where version of wukong could be and should be and that's all that was driving my decision making so he's not guys so these are the questions i could ask him the um, the interview itself was of course uh, limited to half an hour so I could ask him these questions your questions and yeah tell me your opinion in the comment section guys about that also I want to add why he why he um, couldn't actually bring up the Wukong on, la on on the PBE this week he said so he said on Discord, I can't really show you that, guys, because I'm not uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show you that. But he said on the Discord, so unfortunately, due to a server deploy restriction outside of my control, Wukong won't appear on the PVE until patch 10.1. He's ready. I submitted him to PVE and I had every intention of him being playable tonight. Sadly, the way some crucial data is being packed, packaged, his files can be pushed live. I know it's shitty and believe me, I'm incredibly upset, but it's simply out of anyone's control at this point. So I'm sorry for letting you guys down again. So it's not his fault guys, so keep on controlling your anger. It's not his fault. Something, a little accident over there happened and yeah, that's it guys. With that being said, have a wonderful day and don't forget to tell me in the comment section your opinion about these changes and also about the interview itself 
and also consider yourself to subscribe to that channel the bigger we get the more influence we get guys out there with that being said have a wonderful day peace